so this will probably slow my machine down because I'm recording and using OBS at the same time and I've got a really odd machine but I, I wanted to show you this what I've got working over here um, I've been trying to find a way to use OBS to be able to record I've got an old machine so I'm recording using a software encoder rather than a modern day hardware device like a GPU that can do all the hardware encoding give you really nice files so I'm using software so I wanted to be able to record in MKV which is faster than encoding on an MP4, at least on my machine. And I wanted a way to watch a folder and then use a handbrake command line code to be able to, once that, a file has been written away into that folder, to convert it to MP4. So I've got that kind of working now. So I'm just going to give you a bit of an example. So if I do start recording over here, what's happening on the bottom right hand corner is you'll see in that folder that an MK4 file is being written away. So above that is the program running, which is Handbrake Watcher, which is basically watching that folder for MKV files. Above this, on the top right-hand corner, you can see my settings for the Handbrake properties, which is kind of the properties that you need for Handbrake Watcher, Watcher to work. So basically, from the top, it's looking for MKV files, it's going to convert to MP4, it's going to use the command line code from applications Handbrake CLI, and then the options preset, I had a lot of faffing around like I put in the notes to get this to work. But basically, in the GUI of Handbrake, if you right click on the TechCoder X 720p60 JSON file, the presets for encoding for DTube at 60 frames a second, and you make it default, then inside of the command line, it shows that in the preset list. Therefore, you can then use that preset to encode with. So. I had a lot of faffing around trying to import the JSON file and in the end I just decided to make it the default so I'm going to pretty much use that all the time. So if I stop recording, what happens now is that middle box here on the right hand side, the one where it's just sitting there for OBS recordings, if I control and C out of that actually quickly, I'll go over here and control and C and then just run it again, you'll see that what it says is um, the file yada 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 was modified less than 30 seconds ago. So it's really kind of smart that it understands that the file might be still being worked on. Now obviously I've finished encoding like a couple of minutes ago. So what's happening now is it's, it's waiting to convert that file. So I can carry on if I want to making other like courses or making other little bits and pieces that I want and it will just keep on stacking up those MKV files and depending on how long ago it was that we worked on that file it will go ahead and do stuff so I can start another recording and you'll see bottom right hand corner another MKV files popped up I have to keep an eye on my CPU here so like I've got the settings of ultra fast now of CRF it's just a, a lot of messing around with the settings to get the quality that you can afford to get from your CPU and hardware configuration but this works great because now it means I can record an MKV and then just have this watcher file running and then in the background I can go away do something else come back and the MKV has been converted to a 720p 60 frames a second mp4 file ready to upload to dtube which just speeds up my whole process cycle because i was recording with screen flow and that could take you know half an hour to put something up which obviously kills the momentum of your day whereas this is better because then i can just end up with a bunch of mp4 files and i can make custom scenes inside of obs and record kind of in real time and add my effects in real time so it's a bit like streaming but offline um, so i'm going to stop this one see hopefully by the time we finish this video let me just take this back for a little bit of less cpu hopefully what you'll see on the right hand side before we finish this up is that the 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 program will kick off all right so there it goes as you can see in the middle window on the right hand side it's going through and encoding that mp4 and you can see in the bottom it's creating the mp4 file so it just means that you can be i'm a, a bit lagging because obviously what happens now is my processor is getting hammered because it's doing software encoding and trying to run OBS and trying to record at the same time. But normally what I would do is I'd be recording and then I'd, I'd stop recording, go away and do something else for like five minutes, let um, the handbrake do its job, come back and find that the MP4 file is there waiting for me. Now I can also in the settings in the handbrake properties get it to delete the original file if I want which I might do once I've got used to, to using it. 
but that's it straightforward a little handbrake watcher to watch your folder depending on where your video files are safe to it just watches that folder for an mp4 file which is a mkv file matroski container which i found is higher quality and then it exports it to mp4 and then i can upload that to dtube straightforward really easy